latest on Typhoon Congray, which rapidly intensified to a Category 5 status, and not only that, but according to satellite appearance, 180 miles per hour. That's around 290 kilometers per hour, and a pressure around 905. The storm's currently located at 16.8 degrees north, 134.2 east, and now a stage 10 on the CDPS scale, owing mostly to its strength, but fairly slow movement at this time as well, with an expanding wind field. Thankfully, it's quite far away from any land areas, 650 miles from Daitojima, 771 from Naha on Okinawa, 803 from Santa Ana in the Philippines, and 839 from the Amami Islands. No warnings are in effect for this storm, which as you can see is located over the open Philippine Sea, um, and its intensification in the last few hours has been uh, nothing short of um, exceptional. Uh, from category 2 all the way up to category 5 overnight or during the day as it is over there in East Asia. This is what we expect on the GFS model over the next few days. Uh, regardless of its intensity it will probably weaken substantially as it approaches the Japanese islands because the sea surface temperatures are much lower thanks to the passage of Trami. Uh, then it's into the East China Sea and uh, the models are trending towards either the coast of China or towards the Korean Peninsula towards the later part of this coming week and then off towards the northeast once more. So that's something that we'll be watching for quite some time. Um, the southernmost Ryukyu Islands of course will also be under the threat from that. These are the sea surface temperatures you can see as it enters the East China Sea they're very low in comparison 24 or 25 now as opposed to 28 or 29 at the moment. So this is another look at the models over the next few days. That expanding wind field reaches the uh, Ryukyu Islands on Wednesday or Thursday and then passes through either on Thursday or Friday into the East China Sea and then it will weaken substantially there. It will, may hold on to uh, typhoon status by the time it arrives in South Korea and then off towards the northeast. Now there is still a little bit of uncertainty on that model run and we'll show you some more in a moment. Uh, but these are the chances of tropical storm force winds just to numerize it a little bit 53 percent in miyakojima 39 in okinawa 22 in taipei and 15 percent each in shanghai and in jeju in south korea this is what the models are saying at this time um, obviously the officials are having it much lower in intensity than what we're putting at at the moment because it has happened very recently in the last few hours um, the models won't really help in determining the exact intensity, uh, although it does look in recent frames as though maybe a slight weakening trend is beginning. But there's the models on the left-hand side. Now you can see they're pretty much in good agreement actually that it's going to go towards the Korean Peninsula via the Ryukyu Islands, but there could be the chance that it veers a bit further west in the East China Sea towards Shanghai. This is how the storm has been looking in recent frames. A little bit unassuming on, on the visible, but this is what it looks like on the infrared imagery. And look at the eye coming out in those latest frames. Massive cloud tops all around the eye, minus 80 degrees Celsius or uh, lower. Uh, and that certainly denotes a significantly strengthened storm. And the eye temperature has been into the plus 20s. A warmer eye means a stronger storm. And that's why we're going with 180 on this update. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com with the latest. You can also find our YouTube page, you're probably there already, but if not, subscribe if you haven't so far. You can also find our Facebook page, Force 13 All in Text, and it's at Force 13 on Twitter if you'd like to get in touch with us on there. You can also help the project become even better by enjoying the benefits of patronage. You can find out more information about how to become a patron and what those benefits are at patreon.com forward slash force 13. You can also add force 13 on Skype and full 13 at extension 9094 on Discord for tropical weather chat. <laughs>